Hello viewers, the Sax Antonio here, welcoming you back to more Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. I, th I know, you're probably like, where's the dream drop distance? Well, today's really my only free day, and I thought that I would get some Chain of Memories done out of the way. And by free day, I mean that I am sick. Well, I'm not really sick, I'm just contagious. Ooh, the germs are coming through the TV. TV. Well, you could be watching on the TV. I mean, I don't want to judge. But, uh, computer screen. Anyway. Um. Yeah, last time we left off, we were in Neverland. And we're going to need to train, train, train if we ever want to beat Captain Hook. Spoiler alert. Captain Hook's in this game. Okay. Yes, Captain Hook may not sound menacing, but my god, is he ever, like, really hard. Eh, hey, get out of here. Too many enemies on one screen equals lags. I guess we could just cloud it up. Oh, great, he misses. That's showing off why I think he's the best card in the game right there. Okay. Let's, let's do this. Eh. Eh. Yay, a Moogle Room. Okay, now as we dodge roll and get hit by another Red Nocturne. Okay, we can do this. Ah, lag dash. Don't worry, I got this. Ugh. Really, this game is just button mashing, unless you plan out how you're going to do everything. Unlike me. <laughs> well, that was easy. Next level is in 1311. Yes, I actually hit something with the Keyblade. Yeah. For as much criticism as this game gets, it's not that bad. I don't know why people thought it was, like bad. I thought it was pretty damn good. I mean, it was the first portable Kingdom Hearts game. I mean, I'm not saying it's the best portable Kingdom Hearts game, but it it's pretty damn good. I guess it's just constructive criticism. Oh, wow. I actually got card broken. Oh, no. More people. Don't worry, I've got slashing of omni ing ning ning <laughs> I only killed one person. Don't worry, we have Dumbo. Oh, he got rid of the crescendos. Nice! And we get an- ooh, the air pirate card. What does that do? Air pirates. Stop enemies from breaking item cards you use. That's pretty good. 30, 30 CP, though. It's pretty exponentiative. Okay, what is... Store some HP every time you use a friend card. Eh, we got some interesting heartless cards, to say the least. <gasps> the fairy harp. <laughs> like, if if none of you have ever played the Kingdom Hearts one game, the fairy harp is like this tiny little keyblade that's like no bigger than your arm, and it's like, who ever used this thing? It was like stupid looking, and I didn't use. It. I was too busy using my. Uh, what was I using at the time? I think I was just still using the. Jungle King. I don't know. I don't think I ever really aimed for keyblades in that game. And but yeah, the fairy arc was so stupid looking. I mean, after all that trouble you got put through flying, dodging battleships, having to destroy Captain Hook, and all you get is this little tiny keyblade. You do get Tinkerbell, and Tinkerbell is pretty good if you don't have any heal spells. And you have a summoning gauge somehow. I don't know. Sliding dash. Maybe it'll deal some damage. 
some damage. Where am I? Is this how you do it? Yeah. Whish, 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 whish. Whish, 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 whish. Yeah, I got rid of them all. Go, Blizzard. Ooh, a level up. Okay. False bounty. Let's see. We're gonna level up our... We'll go with HP. It's gonna be a long boss battle. Eh. Ooh, we get to stop. Ah. Oh, I missed. Don't worry. I'll just hit them with a keyblade. That'll work. Yeah. So, interesting topic. Um, I got none. <laughs> I think that's where I kind of lack in Let's Play, is that I, I tend to talk too much about the game and not about, like, well, I don't even talk about the game that much. I just kind of go, I can't, like, just go on about normal life. <laughs> just a little bit too much of, oh, in the game. Yeah, that, that's happening. <laughs> Um, I guess an interesting thing is, uh, what is the weirdest thing? Comment below. What is the weirdest thing you've ever seen? Like, ever. Just, I don't care if it has to be video game related, if it's, like, family related, pet related, just out hunting in the woods, dropping off a dead body in the lake related, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> um, mine would have to be, I went to a Comic-Con that was held here in New Orleans, and um, uh, I f it was a guy dressed up as like a zombie Gumby. Try saying that three times fast. Actually, that's probably really easy. Zombie Gumby, zombie Gumby, zombie Gumby, zombie Gumby. Anyway. Yeah, and he was like... <laughs> He looked demented, but that wasn't the worst part. He had a, uh, a sign around his neck, and it said, uh, free hugs. And then everybody just kept giving him free hugs. And there was, like, this, this three-year-old giving him a free hug. And I was like, there is a zombie Gumby giving this little girl a free hug. Something should be wrong with this picture. And I gave him a free hug. I mean... I ain't afraid of no zombie Gumby. And to say the coolest thing I saw there was probably a guy dressed up as a Ghostbuster. I think it was Egon specifically. That guy looked like... He had to be, like, dedicated to get all the, like, stuff. Because it, like, worked and everything. I mean, that's dedication. And I use Sliding Dash for some reason. Eh. Eh. Get him in the face with a keyblade. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Ugh. Don't worry, we have the technology. Guarded trove. Eh, give me my health orbs. I think that's the first time I ever really needed health orbs and not Moogle points. Because I always would like Moogle Points. Moogle Points are really cool. And handy. And red. <laughs> like my blood. Uh, seems that all the Heartless are gone. So we go on to the next room. Which you need a zero. Hmm. We have a false bounty. I think false bounty is a 50-50% chance of actually getting some. Oh, no, that's right. It's uh, three chests guarded, and two of them have monsters. One of them has the actual whatever you want or need or was were going to be given. Ugh. Lag. Eat. L and R together make slates. You can make super spells like Bizarre 
Yeah, Blizzard is probably my favorite of all the spells, just because it's got that range appeal to it. Man, stop that. Homing Blizzard. And then, oh, there was another Donald right here. We could have done Triple Donald, but it didn't matter because everybody's dead. Okay. Oh, got a Red Nocturne. Ooh, Dark Balls. Ooh, Balls! Nah, Dark Balls just give, pretty sure, a decent amount of EXP. If I remember correctly, because you really don't see them normally, like, as common enemies until the final area. And yeah, they give all the big experience point. Point Aruscamentes. <laughs> and the Crescendo Chop. Jesus. I'm glad the Kingdom Hearts card game doesn't work literally like this. There'd be so many. Jesus. There'd be so many Jesus spells. That thing swings really fast. Ugh. Hitting people in the face. Freezing people with the spell. Jesus. That one spell killed everybody. Give me my cure. Oh, that's another thing. Even if you get the bounty, the treasure, it's still not going to be that good. Oh, wow. I guess we're using Cross Slash. But doesn't matter, because Cloud is a boss. Now, give me my, my everythings. Oh, he called upon a soldier. I guess that's a good way to kind of grind for experience, is just keep, ass just keep the crescendos out. They give you these, uh, card break. I don't know, just use Reload Kinesis for no reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this place doesn't really have that great of music. It's no Atlantica. And again, this movie didn't really have that great of music. And again... It was a 50s movie, I'm pretty sure. Either that or a 60s movie. No, I'm pretty sure it's a 50s movie. Ooh, another level up. Two level ups in one episode. That's what I call productive. Now we need to slash the pirates. Boom! Shwabam! Slow mo slash. It's time to collect all these these orbs of goodness. Anyway, uh, ooh, a new slate. Arcs Arcanum. Rain a flurry of blows upon the enemy. You need three attack cards of total value, one through six. Okay, Ars Arcanum. I'll have to show that off right now. Well, first, can I actually do that? See, um, yeah, these three will add up to six, so let's just get into a quick battle, and I'll show it off. Ars Arcanum. Whoa. Woo! <laughs> Got that last guy in it. Oh, well, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that's the only way I can do it, but hey, it was pretty cool. So yeah, that's ours, Arcanum, and that has also been this part of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. See you for the next part.